Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel. And I am so excited to make this video because this week I'm going to be dressing exclusively in my color palette. If you don't know what a personal color analysis is, this has been like kind of a trend. It is like your natural skin, hair, and eye color tones. It analyzes these colors and then finds what's supposed to be the most harmonious colors to make your beauty shine through. In other words, it, these are supposed to be the colors that look the best on you. And I kind of don't buy this whole color palette thing. So I've been wanting to make a video like this to like explore this. I have done my color palette twice and I've gotten something different both times. Seems a little, a little suspicious if you ask me. So the first time I did this, I got Soft Autumn Palette. The second time I did it, I got Soft Summer Palette. So I really don't understand what I'm supposed to do with that. I've decided I'm gonna take a photo because I have no makeup on and this is like the most natural. So, and then we'll see what I get. And I don't want flash on or anything. I want this to be very, you know, genuine. Okay, I got Soft Autumn Palette this time, so we're gonna dress within the Soft Autumn Palette. So I have now done this four times and only gotten the same thing twice, which is kind of telling in and of itself. Okay, it says getting inconsistent results usually means that your coloring is in between two or more color types. Okay, so a soft dominant person might be a summer or an autumn in seasonal terms. Okay, now it says, so it looks like the soft obviously is more muted and the warm is more is like brighter okay so it says um so the coloring can change i guess low contrast and like skin and soft hair color is what makes you like in the soft category so soft shades are muted so they're less bright the warm versus cool people are saying has more to do with your skin tone than anything else but the thing is with these two color palettes colors are very similar they're the same exact colors they are just muted down so I'm going to do my best to dress within the autumn palette and kind of see. So I guess we'll figure it out. My hypothesis is that I'm not going to like this. I don't buy it. Um, the colors it says to avoid like the black and pink. I love how black looks on me and I love how that color pink looks on me too. So and all of these muted tones are so boring to me. Like I don't like it. Um, so I, I kind of don't think there's any stock in this, to be honest, but I digress. I'm going to try to dress within the color palette. Maybe I'll do a little more research throughout this week and really educate myself on it. But I figured it would be fun because I keep hearing about this and I'm like, let's let's see if there's any stock to it. This is day one of my, my little color palette dressing. So I'm going to pick an outfit that goes within the color palette. And then I'll show you guys what I pick. This is what I went with. What's interesting is this color is actually my color palette, this yellow. And I do really love this sweatshirt, so that's telling. And these pants are actually in my color palette as well. So I did pretty good today. So this is in my color palette. It was kind of hard because it wants me to avoid black. And I was like, at least for the first day, I want to try to do like, I don't want to just like only do like my top in the color palette. I wanted to try to do like the bottoms in the color palette too. It was actually very hard. I would not want to spend every day getting ready like this, but this is kind of an interesting experiment because this, I do love this sweatshirt and I do think it looks good on me. So that is kind of interesting that it is in my color palette. And I will also say that I did more research while I was trying to pick an outfit. So like I went on Pinterest and I looked up like soft color palette, soft autumn color palette, like inspiration. And I found like more pictures and they included more colors. And I was like, okay, some of these I do actually wear. Cause when I was first looking at the colors they included, I was like, I feel like I don't wear these colors. Like actresses, they put like as examples of like other people who have this color palette. I do think I kind of look similar to, I'll put a picture on the screen. So I do think that, that is kind of interesting. We'll see, I'll do like a, a full little analysis at the end of the video and see how I feel but I feel like day one like not bad this is something I would wear like I've always thought that this sweatshirt looks good on me it's always been like one of my favorites so I'm not really shocked by this one I am however shocked that it's in my color palette because I just like didn't think it was for some reason we'll see we'll see what the next outfits bring this is the fit for today got my little Star Wars shirt and my beige 
pants so it's kind of like a very neutral outfit today but these are the pants and the shirt are all supposed to be in my color palette so we did good i felt like i was gonna have trouble like getting the pants in my color palette but i've actually like i guess unintentionally bought a lot of clothes in my color palette without realizing it well technically this is a different color than yesterday because my sweatshirt was yellow and this is like white or like eggshell but i know it looks kind of similar i just really felt like repping the star wars today for some reason so that's what we're doing and i really like this outfit honestly i've never like done this shirt and pant combination but i actually really like it and i don't know if it was something that have put together without doing this video so that's fun so far i've actually been pleasantly surprised more of my clothes are in my color palette than i thought but I still do maintain that some of the colors it tells me to avoid are colors that I really like to wear. So, so far so good. Day two, I'm having fun. I like both of the outfits. I picked out their both things that I would wear again and really like and probably would have worn normally. Although this combination I just never thought to do before, but I actually really like it because the tie on my pants is the same color as the shirt so they actually match really well where i was kind of worried that they wouldn't but they actually match really well so all right y'all day three and i'd be struggling this is what i went with okay these are green so technically black is one of the colors i am supposed to avoid but pretty much all greens are in my color palette like pretty much there's like a very nice array of greens in my color palette so technically this is fine, and the pants are more than fine. Every green in the camel pants is in my color palette. But I kind of wanted to do this anyways because I wanted to wear a color it told me to avoid and see like if I noticed a difference. And I really don't. I think I look really good in black. I think it complements my skin tone like well. I think that it like complements my features well. Like I don't know why black is on the like list to list of colors to avoid for me. Um, so let me know what you think because I don't see the issue. I know that it's like saying you don't look bad in that color, but like there's like another shade that might be better for you. But I think this looks good on me, so I'm not really sure. Like I just think this shade of black is nice, so I'm, I don't really know. But the green is in my color palette, so I feel like it kind of counted because um, it's got like green here and green here, and then like I have like the green pants on. So I felt like it counted. I don't know. Day three was a struggle. It took me a very long time to figure out what to wear mostly because i just really felt like wearing this shirt today like i don't know if this would technically be in or out because i feel like there's enough green in it that it's kind of green and also like it's really hard to know if the shade is technically right or not um day three is a struggle i'm already sick of dressing within my color palette like i'm sick of having to consult a little chart every day when i get ready and i do think that this is better for like hair colors like if people are dyeing their hair and like makeup and it's not that i think that the colors in my color palette look bad on me per se it's just that i don't think the color palette the colors that aren't in my color palette like look bad either and those like i don't think i look better in any of the two outfits i already wore than i do in this one two more outfits to go two more days to go and then we'll kind of see how we feel all right i just got out of the shower so now i have to decide what i want to wear within my color palette today um i don't really know what i want to do except that i want it to be something warm because i am chilly i think i want to do a different color than i've been doing because i did yellow and then like eggshell and then i did kind of like green so i think i just want to stay away from the yellow eggshell if that makes sense so i want to do something like Maybe one of the pinks or the purple or the blues in my palette like just to really get the full scope and experience of this color palette dressing thing all right this is day four i wanted to do a different color that was in the color palette and i haven't done blue yet so i did this blue sweater and then i have on gray sweatpants because i also don't think i've done gray yet and this gray is in my color palette and i wanted to wear sweatpants because i didn't want to wear real pants so to say to give observations because i've kind of been giving daily observations this is a cool experiment because i think it's nice to know about color palettes also it forces me to like kind of think more about what i have in my wardrobe and like reach for maybe not my faves like you know what i mean things i might not reach for all the time right this is the fit today i'm so excited because I got this shirt thrifting and I have really been wanting to wear it and I just like 
happen. So this was like the perfect excuse because this red is in my color palette and I hadn't done any like reds and pinks yet that were in there. And that was like the only color I really hadn't done. So I was like, okay, it's the last day. We gotta do like a red or a pink. This gray, I'm not sure because if you look close enough, it's kind of like a mix of different like grays. And I do have like some grays in my color palette and there's one that I think matches this but again sometimes it's hard to tell with the shade but the, the red definitely is and then i just put a little headband on it because well my hair has been a pain in my booty lately so i kind of wanted it back but also i thought i don't know the, the white golf ball and the white headband kind of worked i don't know so this is the last fit we made it to the end all right we made it to the end so let's talk about my observations and what i've learned First of all, I'm very glad we have made it to the end. I would not want to have to consult this to get dressed every day. I think it's too much work, but I will say I do think it is good to be aware of the color palette, but I think it's mostly helpful for makeup and hair. With clothes, I feel like I don't want to limit myself to just like a certain palette of colors. Like I like experimenting with different colors and different color palettes and I don't necessarily think the color palette is accurate in terms of clothes. I would have to do another experiment with makeup to determine if it's accurate for that. I still maintain that I don't think I look better in the colors in my color palette than I do like in other colors that aren't in the color palette. So I don't really think it was that beneficial for me. That being said, in the fashion world when you're designing clothes and you're putting clothes together i'm sure it's helpful especially like because it gets into color theory and i'm sure there's like more to it i just think for for the average person like me it's not really necessary i liked the outfits i wore but no differently than i like the outfits i wear normally so my conclusion from this experiment is that not really necessary for me i don't really i still don't really buy the whole color palette thing um those are kind of my final conclusions and by by the end i was i was sick of it i'm glad i did five days and not seven because i was sick of having to consult things and i don't like being boxed in and limited in like really any area of my life so this was like i did not like having to consult something to get dressed every morning like that's just not ideal for me it's not enjoyable for me like i just want to like put on what i want to put on and experiment and be happy with that so my final conclusion is that my hypothesis was correct and i really did not like it or need the color palette or enjoy having to consult the color palette that's my conclusion so i don't know comment down below what you thought if you thought like the color palette made a difference if you've noticed a difference in your own color palette any like color theory like resources or facts like I'd, I always like to be more educated on it so like if there's anything like I should look into let me know about that um, give it a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video it really does help out my channel a lot and if you're not subscribed already you should be so hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys on Friday with another video later Gators bye